forward and helping you not only get into personal development, but it gets you into some professional development so you can be the person you need to be here at Jeanette. Yes. For those who don't know me, I'm an immigrant who build my business. And it didn't happen overnight. It took some time. And if you're starting out, out here with Janessa, or maybe you're uh, one of the new ranks in the company, it's going to take a little time for you to rank advance and become a diamond director inside Janessa. On the screen right now, you get to see not only the incredible awards our company has gotten, but also a little bit of my family, myself, some of the events and things I've done globally and around the world. And I plan my time. I spend time with the family. I plan spiritual goals, uh, knowledge goals, and I'm very, very uh, concerned about the direction of my future. And you should be too. After all, that's why we're doing LEAD 2021. And as I said, it's really exciting to be part of the entire program. Personal development is the conscious choice to improve one's life, become a better person, and to grow as an individual. And that's not going to happen in a 24-hour period. It's going to take consistent action over a prolonged period of time for you to develop the new habits that are going to make you massively successful. One of the greatest questions you can ask yourself when it comes down to professional and personal development is, how am I going to get there? And it's really important that you set some SMART goals. Those goals need to be specific, they need to be measurable, they need to be attainable, they need to be realistic, and they need to be timely. That means that you actually need to plan some time to sit down and write down what your objectives are for yourself. And it's easier said than done. Most people don't actually spend the time to do that. Most people tend to minimize their goals. They think they can't achieve them. And if you think you can't, you're absolutely right. There's no way that you're going to actually achieve your goals with a, with a low belief system where you think you can never, ever get there. So my question to all of you right now, watching around the world or here in North America, is what's holding you back from achieving your biggest dream inside Jeunesse and beyond? And when I ask that question, most people probably ponder and think, what's really holding them back? You know, a person who aims at nothing is certain to hit that goal, absolutely nothing. Now, unlike a lot of people inside Jeunesse, I just spent uh, five, six days up at our home in Tahoe, and I spent those the, the days and the time up there actually planning the next five years of my life, so 2021 through 2026. It takes some time, I've been doing it for years, but because I've given my mind a mental um, goal to go out and hit, I know somewhat what my future is going to look like. In other words, I have a specific plan for the attainment of the objectives I'm looking to create for myself, my family, and my sales organization. The best way for you to predict your future is to plan it and create it. And for those that don't know, I actually have a time management system that I follow. I've been doing it since 1999, and I follow it uh, religiously, meaning that I plan in the mornings, I go through the day, I know what I'm doing every day. And the great thing about having a plan is you can follow it. And if you get off track, you can come right back on and uh, get, back on the, get back on the wagon. One of the greatest questions to ask yourself is, where am I now? You want to identify existing skills and qualifications, identify your strengths, but most importantly, identify your weaknesses. Take it from me, we all have them. None of us are perfect, and it's going to take a little work on ourselves to uh, go through personal development to work into being a real professional. And that's where it comes down for you to make a decision. You know, decisions take time, right? It's not just, hey, here's what you want to do. You got to sit down, plan it, write it, consider it, ponder it, and actually go through the process of deciding if this is right for you and maybe your significant other, you know, your, your wife, your kids. You know, have a family meeting. Sit down and go through it. Same thing with your sales organization. Your sales organization has to have enough faith in your leadership as a distributor inside Jeunesse for you to lead them on how to do the business, where to do the business, how to identify and open up uh, new markets. Because after all, Jeunesse is a global business uh, with business happening in over 130, 140 countries around the world. And you can participate in the distribution of our products by getting new distributors to come on board. 
not only your distributors, you can also get customer sales as well as loyalty program sales. And all this builds your business over time. So where do I want to go? One of the greatest things that myself and my family have done, including our sales organization, is we identify places around the world that we would like to go and visit. In other words, uh, we have short-term and long-term goals. We also uh, have to identify the required skills and qualifications in order to either qualify for one of the uh, rewards trips that are coming up. It might be somewhere that you really wanted to go. And you've got to identify what's going to take to get there. In fact, the company has a reward system, a travel rewards points, that you can participate in in order to go to one of these incredible, incredible uh, vacations globally. The point is, it's not just those places you want to plan. You also want to plan the kind of lifestyle you plan on living if you're going to be a successful distributor inside Jeunesse. And uh, having a game plan of where you're going, how you're going to get there, who you're going to go with, who's coming with you, um, which organizations are you going to be bringing and spending time with, are all key to the success of personal development. You see, inside personal development, you can actually earn and learn at the same time inside Jeunesse. So you don't have to be, let's say, a career professional, but you do have to have an open mind about uh, sitting down, getting your objectives laid out and planned you got to keep educating yourself. What does that really mean? Well, you know, just like if you were going to school to become an attorney, a doctor, or some other kind of professional, you would have what's called like ongoing education. And thank goodness, Jeunesse has an incredible system that allows you to get educated inside the back office. It walks you through compliance training, walks you through certain things. But in order for personal development to take place, you've also got to glean information from other people. Success in Jeunesse does not occur by chance. There's a proven and predictable pattern of activities. All you need to do is have the motivation and learn how new skills and learn these skills and actually share them with others and use them yourself. The biggest mistake that I see when somebody gets into the industry, direct sales, network marketing, um, or inside Jeunesse, is that they do not treat it like a business. They t it's easy to get into, right? As you go to the link, you sign up, you become a distributor. But what are the distributor activities? What are the growth activities? Uh, what do you have to do to actually build a successful business inside Jeunesse? Well, here's where real training and personal development comes in. You see, thank goodness all of us have two hemispheres of the brain. There's the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. The left hemisphere is very logical, okay? And the right hemisphere is extremely creative. And what we're waiting to do, what the brain's waiting to do, is, is get permission for you to actually go out and exercise the logic and become creative, or vice versa, be creative and make it match up with the logic. The left-hand side of the brain tends to be very, very orderly, you know, um, it's where numbers exist, where science is. It's where that side of the thinking lies. On the right-hand side, it's almost like, you know, going for long walks on the beach with the person you love. It's creative, it's passion, it's where the love is. And the, the right brain actually allows you to create what you need to have in order to maybe even give this presentation or give a presentation. Um, the best thing to do is actually develop both sides of the brain. And you do that by making sure you connect with not only myself, but other leaders inside Jeunesse, other diamond distributors that are delivering here at LEAD, and also uh, some other professionals that are maybe not part of the Jeunesse family, but they are well known in the industry because they are great authors and they've provided many books. Some, some are self-help, uh, some are based on uh, financial success, some are based on real estate, some are based on direct sales, networking, some are based on just sales. And it's your job to build your personal library at home. Now, I'm going to go through some of those authors here in a little bit and make sure you're taking notes because they have amazing books that have helped me and almost every single diamond uh, distributor inside Jeunesse become massively successful. One of the best people I can say you should start out with is Stephen Covey. He wrote an incredible book called Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. you got to be productive. Okay, you've got to start out and have goals and objectives with the end in mind. You've got to put first things first. You've got to think win-win. In other words, how do you win and how does the other person win? You've got to seek first to be understood and understand and then be understood. Not easily done, but with time and with practice, these habits pay off. 
You've also got to synergize. You got to get your teams together. You got to get your teams thinking together, planning together, organizing together, prospecting together. And by doing so, you're going to start building the habits that are going to lead you to be a successful distributor inside Jeunesse. The other thing you got to do is you got to become sharper. And sharper means you may want to practice presentations. I remember doing presentations in front of the mirror. Then I started recording myself. And uh, it's a great thing, once again, to actually be speaking here at Lee, but it's even more important for me to share this information with you. I didn't get here by myself. I mean, in other words, I was motivated. I wanted to change my life. I wanted to do the right things. I wanted to have the right habits. And I've had plenty of mentors that have helped me along the way, and some of them are the authors I'm talking about right now. This gentleman's amazing, Les Brown. You know, he had a saying, he said, are you hungry? In other words, are you hungry for success? Do you want more out of life? You have to have the power to live a bigger life. Challenge yourself and take the risk. It's not easy taking risk, especially maybe if you currently have a family, you're looking at this business and you're like, man, should I get into it? Should I go and do uh, Jeunesse and, and be involved in the direct sales industry? Should I become a professional at this? And the questions I have for you is like, what if you don't, right? You never want to go through life thinking, I shoulda, woulda, coulda. You want to go for it. And by the way, if you make a mistake, I promise you, you're going to learn something. The authors that are on your screen right now, I'm telling you, have made colossal mistakes, including myself delivering this presentation. I've had some amazing duds in my life where I wasn't successful at all. But because I wasn't successful, I learned from the failure or the setback. And I decided to get back up on the horse. I was willing to take the risk. And my advice to you to become a professional and to get more personal development is go ahead, swing the bat, take the risk, go for it, write down your goals, get serious, have the serious conversations, mostly with yourself and get rid of the self-doubt that most people have thinking that they can't become successful. I don't know if you know this or not, but the majority of the diamond distributors inside Jeunesse, this is the first time that they've been in the direct sales or network marketing industry, and they've gone to the top. They've made it happen. And the reason is Jeunesse has an incredible global system in place that you can take advantage of. You just got to plug in, learn, take this information and knowledge and apply it. Now, what does apply it mean? Well, <clears throat> this gentleman here was one of my very first mentors. He says, uh, it's Robert Allen, he says, how many millionaires do you know uh, who have become wealthy by investing in savings accounts? And he says, I rest my case. What is he trying to point out? What he's trying to say is just saving and putting away uh, some funds doesn't make money work for you. You've got to learn the, the laws of money and what's actually taking place with money. And unfortunately, the schools today, while they're great and they teach us how to be incredible employees, uh, but it doesn't teach us how to be think outside the box about how money really works. And putting your money to work for you, even inside Jeunesse, understanding where to invest your money, how to uh, get uh, great leaders to come and join your sales organization, how to find more customers and get more sales, all these things are going to lead you down the road of financial success. And I know everybody wants to be massively successful uh, in the business, but here's the thing a lot of people aren't massively successful. And it really comes down to the habits that a person uh, isn't doing or hasn't installed in their life. Habits are not easy to change. The only thing that replaces a bad habit is a new habit that's more fun or it's producing results. And it's very hard to make those things take place. But it's possible, just like it's possible to become successful inside our company. Now, I love Susie Orsman. Um, I have several books from her amazing financial information. She says here in a quote, a big part of financial freedom is having your heart and mind free from worry about what ifs of life. A lot of our time is spent worrying about things that probably will never ever happen or you worry about them so much you actually bring them about in your life. And what I love about Susie's plan was, on her financial plan, was she said, you know, you have to learn to live on less than what you make. Inside Jeunesse, I would encourage you, if you have a current job, not to quit that job. I would encourage you to start Jeunesse as the side program. Uh, talk to the family, have a financial plan, but have money coming in so that you're paying your bills. And then have Jeunesse working for you as your part-time program. 
Um, and then finally, as you start to build up uh, the ranks inside the compensation plan, as you sell and or, or products move inside your sales organization and you share and share more information, as that income builds and grows, builds and grows, you can now plan on becoming a more full-time person inside Jeunesse and participating maybe in one of these events or another global event, virtual event that we're doing uh, around the world. But you know, just saying I'm going to quit cold turkey and go full time into Jeunesse isn't the smartest business decision to make. A good business decision is to keep what you've got going on, start something with a little bit of time, get involved, ask your success line, that's the people who are in the group that are uh, uh, leading, teaching, and showing you what to do, uh, other diamond distributors, for example, start uh, participating and building up the revenue. Now, is it possible for somebody who has great direct sales experience and a following to say, let's go make something happen inside Jeunesse Global? Absolutely. But here's the thing. Look, not everybody can go out and become immediately successful. It doesn't work that way. The best way for you to look at your Jeunesse business is to say, is to get structured, organized, and ready to make it happen. And you've also got to have a whole lot of success partners. And I'm telling you, no matter which sales organization you're in, inside Jeunesse, there are plenty of successful success partners waiting to connect with you. Your job is to let them know who you are, what your plan is, and get to know who that person is. Create a relationship. I love this man, John C. Maxwell. I had the great privilege of not only meeting with him and spending some time with him, but um, he has amazing uh, education. I want to encourage you to go and look up these authors. He says here, the secret of your success is determined by your daily agenda. I told you earlier, I already have a success plan, a, a plan that I follow every single day. I have my calendar, I have my journal, and I have my notebook all in one keeps me massively productive. It also sets up my days to be successful. When I say my days, John's talking about the agenda. Every single day I've got something I have to accomplish. I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm looking for the next big deal. I'm looking for the next thing to make it work. Uh, rank advance inside Jeunesse. I've got my own goals set for this year so I can make that happen. In fact, we started uh, doing way more presentations virtually because we're not traveling uh, as much as what we used to. And once again, all of us have gone through this amazing change. Your job is to say, how are you going to make it happen for you? And I believe 2021 is the uh, not only the year of vision, but massive growth and change for you. It's been growth and change for me. We've had to change up our game plan and get more serious. Corporates had to change up its game plan and get more technical and get more uh, inside the program saying we're doing things virtually and we've done an amazing job of that. Your job is follow up, follow through, and follow up with some of these authors. You know, a few months ago, Tony Robbins gave an amazing presentation virtually for us uh, in, uh, in Florida. And it was great watching him on the screen. Um, what I love about Tony is that he does an incredible weekend with Destiny, which I've done. It's amazing. It helped change my life. It was part of my uh, personal growth and my professionalism of actually moving forward. He says here, if you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always gotten. And here's my point. Here's his point. You've got to try something different. I don't know if Jeunesse is going to be the ultimate answer for you. But I do know if you make a solid commitment to getting in the business, making it work, making your time count, networking with the right people, right individuals, your success line, the people, your success partners, and you see what they're doing, if you start to mimic, copy, and do a fraction of what they're doing, chances are that you're going to have similar, small, and larger successes. And here's what I'm going to tell you. It's not easy. Success isn't easy, but it's completely worth it. At the end of the day, the success that you have in Jeunesse comes down to your work ethic. And if you have a low energy work ethic, expect low energy results. But if you have high energy, you're ready to go make it work, do whatever it takes, outperform uh, some of the other people that are already successful, you can go to the top inside Jeunesse. There's nothing stopping you except your current belief system and what you believe. Now, this man is the man that helped me change almost everything in my life. He was one of my very, very first mentors that I ever spent time with. His name is Jim Rohn. Sadly, he's no longer here, but his legacy lives on. 
and the reason why i'm delivering professional and personal development is i spent a lot of time on the weekends that he talked about i got his tape systems when the tapes were big now of course you can go and find them on youtube and what have you and he said something really amazing he said your life does not get better by chance your life gets better by change that means we all have this personal uh goal inside of us that we've got to change in order to put out better energy in order to make our lives become what we'd like them to become you got to write it down you got to keep our journal you got to write down notes you got to get the books you know um, in my home uh, I have a success library of all the books uh, these are just a sampling of some of the authors that I think made a great impact on my life but I have other authors that I randomly all pick up one of the books and like, hey man I remember this incredible thought this idea I'm like that makes sense I write it down I put it into motion you see it's very easy to read a book and not take any action you've all done that probably successfully in the past right not taking action what if somebody gave you a great idea and you said, man, that sounds fantastic. I'm going to go follow that through. And just what if the 99 things that you tried failed and the one thing that you did allowed you to become successful? You know, I was watching um, Mark Cuban uh, and Dwayne Johnson uh, on YouTube the other day because, you know, I subscribe to these folks. Why? Because I'm a, I like to learn. I like to keep my mind growing. I like to see what somebody else is doing. And one little idea can change your entire life and can make you the legacy of your family and even inside Jeunesse. My advice to you is go and do it. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything get in the way. Deliver for you and yourself and your family and great things will take place. The gentlemen and the ladies and all these people I'm talking about, including our diamond directors, including the company, including the founders, the owners, and the employees, you have to understand the mindset that most people have. What I love about working with distributors and delivering this presentation here for LEAD on personal development and being a professional, you know, a lot of people live inside the box or inside the circle that's on your screen right now. 98% of the population, just like being like everybody else, they're insecure, you know, they're just surviving, they're in their comfort zone, they don't want to do anything really, they're fearful, they're just getting by, they're leading a dull life, they're playing it safe, they live with procrastination, and they have regret, and they settle for less. But ladies and gentlemen, you know, if you choose to look me up, uh, or any of the other diamond distributors who are presenting at this lead event and some of the other uh, new emeralds and the new rubies that we have that are presenting. I'm going to tell you, they're going for their dreams. They've developed enough confidence to step forward. They're risking. Uh, they explore new things. They chose happiness, fulfillment. How about getting the most out of life? They're acting in spite of fear. They live with an abundance mindset and they live without limits. They love change. They accept it because they know in order to advance, things have to change and you have to sacrifice some things. They like the excitement and they embrace the unknown. Those folks who are living outside the circle are the 2% mindset. And I'm going to invite you to step up and become part of those thinkers. Connect with some of the leaders inside Jeunesse. If it's my message, if it's one of the other diamond distributors' messages, if it's our chief visionary offers message, or maybe it's, um, and Wendy and Randy's message, whatever the case is, our founders, connect with them. Let them let us know who you are, because otherwise we don't get to hear from you and you're just doing your own thing. But we'd like to help guide you and point you to the things that have allowed us to become successful. Professional development. <clears throat> um, you got to put time and effort into your online profiles. You know, I spent a lot of time doing mine. I've got a team and a staff that helps me do my uh, online stuff every single week. We know what it takes to create uh, a good online profile and make it happen. And your job is to do the same thing. You got to attend trainings and workshops. You know, you got to go online. You got to connect with one of the diamonds in your upline or success line and connect with them. What does that mean? Reach out, follow them, um, make, become aggressive. Hey, I got to spend some time with you. Set up a Zoom call. You got to make connections with new people. The most important thing you can do inside Jeunesse is actually connect with new people and show them the success system that Jeunesse Global has. Now, here's the thing I want to tell you, everybody. Normally, I'd be traveling globally around the world with Jeunesse. 
uh, in a year past here, not 2020, but the year before that, I did over 400,000 miles traveling and working with independent distributors, customers, and people globally in many different countries. Okay, And I did so, you know why? Because I had my own goals, my own dreams, my own aspirations written down. I sit down and plan with my wife, talk with our kids. In fact, um, before Alexa was born, uh, AJ, our son, and my wife would travel to all these countries. We'd plan and organize together. We'd go to the events together. We would spend time with the owners of the company, our, the chief visionary officer, as well as some of the other staff members. Uh, and we'd spend time with them planning. We'd see what people are talking about, introducing them to new people, people that we met, people that we thought were going to be leaders. You know where all this information's come from? It's come from the authors and the books and the uh, online systems that are available to you. Your job is to plug in. If you don't plug in and you don't do uh, some of the work, I cannot make you successful. See, we can point you in the right direction, but what we can't do is help you become massively successful. When I say that, once you've learned what to do, you can take the ball and take the reins and run and start to make great things happen. You've also got to build your own brand. you got to plan 30, 60, 90 day goals for your business. You've always got to be contacting and inviting people to come and see a presentation, connect on Zoom. you got to handle setbacks and you got to be able to handle rejection. You know, I have had a lot of uh, distributors join me in the success of building uh, distribution globally. I've also had more people reject me, okay? But I didn't allow the rejection to get in my way of the success. What I did was I said, let's be smart about what I'm doing. Let's make this business attractive. And the attractive quality is this, is that you can do it. You see, inside Jeunesse, there's really several sides to the program. Um, you know, if you take Jeunesse as a whole, <clears throat> uh, the company, uh, like the slide that we have on the screen right now, if you take the company, the company is responsible for uh, commissions, uh, making sure the commission structure works. The company is also uh, responsible uh, for the products. They do all the research and the development. And the product also has an incredible management team, right? And of course, there's people that are inside the company that are already rank advancing and becoming uh, diamond directors and, and the different ranks that the company has. There's people hitting those ranks every single month inside Jeunesse. But here's the difference, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> The, that company is the same company that I belong to that I make my life work. Well, what's the difference? The difference is you. The difference is who are you listening to? Uh, are you taking the right action? The difference is can you make it happen? The difference is are you willing to work on yourself professionally? Are you willing to work on yourself uh, personally? Are you going to take in the specialized knowledge that's needed in order for you to grow? You know, there's many a night that I've spent where I was awake, right? Going, man, hey, uh, reviewing my goals and dreams, editing, changing. And that's because I needed to develop into the person that I am today. And it hasn't stopped. I continuously advance and try and push myself to say new goals, new ideas, and stretch. And it's the stretching, just like going to getting on a workout program or a diet program, what have you, the commitment in order to deliver and actually show up and present and lead by example, this is what makes a difference. To your business, if you wanna have 100% growth, like what's on the screen right now, you've gotta put in the time, the energy, and the work. I promise you, take, the, take advantage of the products, take advantage of the incredible compensation plan that happens globally in our company, and more importantly, connect with the management team inside Jeunesse. Start building those relationships. By doing so, you too will have a fully rounded out circle and you will make your business here at Chines absolutely amazing. So look, ladies and gentlemen, um, my time's up here at LEAD 2021. Once again, it's an absolute privilege for myself to deliver my message to you. Yes, I didn't travel, but I am here working from my home studio. I love it. It's great.